is not steady. Don't worry, Brother Sua. Two, three, four, five. Your feathers will become the tools from which we create immortal pages of sacred text. <laughs> <laughs> if there were no books, all knowledge would be lost for eternity. Brothers, welcome to Kells, one of the great illuminators of our times. You should not have come here. I escaped the Vikings and left them far behind, Brother Cal. The book is saved, and I mean to complete it. Well, we have more pressing things to complete here. You mean your wall? Not my wall, Aiden. A wall to save civilization. A wall to save your book. Thank you. Calm down, lad, calm down. I won't tell on you. <laughs> Open it. Tell me, Brenton, would you like to help me? You can help me gather some of these. It's a humble little berry, but it makes the deepest emerald green ink you will ever see. I'm not allowed outside the walls. It's too dangerous. That you will learn more in the woods, from trees and rocks, than in any other place. That is something the abbot knew a long time ago. Is this your cat? Well, you can go right back where you came from. If you don't, I'll make the wolves get you. No! No, wait! Shh! Do you know where I can find these? Yes, but you can't eat those. Uh, they're for ink. You have climbed a tree before. Yes, of course. Come on, so. Ah! Ah! Saved your life. Second time today. My name's Brendan. What's yours? Ashley. Ashley. And this is my first. Oh, they look like boar droppings. They're kind of stinky, too. <laughs> we have one day before the Vikings attack Kells. But the gate won't hold. We must, we must run from here. The gate will hold. The book was never meant to be hidden away behind walls, locked away from the world which inspired its creation. Brendan, you must take the book to the people so that they may have hope. You can visit the forest again if you like. And Pangar can come too. <laughs> <laughs>